Hello Internet. I'm installing the handlebar heater kit on my Ural 2022 sidecar motorcycle in this video. This heater kit is a general kit to 22mm handlebar size, like this one here. So it can be installed on any motorcycle of that handlebar size. The length of the heater is 130mm. Moreover, it can be installed on ATVs and snowmobiles, so it's a universal kit. The brand is Koso and more specifically Apollo. Earlier I had the motorcycle manufacturer specific heaters installed at the factory, like in all my BMWs. The latest that I installed myself was from Oxford. They are very famous and effective heaters, but there's one feature I wouldn't say I like a lot. When selecting handlebar heaters this time, I searched the internet and chose these Kosos mainly because of the integrated controller. And that separates this kit from the Oxford kit. I like a lot of this kit's appearance and functionality. I can control the heaters without taking my hands off the handlebar. This is an important safety feature. So, let's see if it's easy to install. First, I have to take out of the old grips. I want to save them so no cutting. If in the case uh, where the previous owner of your bike used much glue, it might be necessary to use the carpet knife to take them out. First we do unboxing here. This came directly uh, from the Koso. Yeah, nice package. Support it very well. So this is receipt, then some advertising material about these different uh, grip heaters, and then the box itself. So this one is uh, installation instructions, quite clear what to do here. And then there's two end caps. I should not lose these because they are important. Then here's two grip heaters, two grips and the wiring harness. Cut this very carefully. Here we have two uh, connectors and as you can see these connectors are different so it's easy to differentiate the left and right. Like that. And the other one also. like that. And uh, this is uh, left side grip because the controlling switch is uh, in this grip. And uh, this is uh, uh, right side and you can see the difference between the circumference of these two grips. This is 22 millimeter hole here and uh, this is a little bit larger because it goes to the uh, right hand side and here's the controller itself obviously totally waterproof and fused and uh, then connection to battery terminals to the bike great okay next I will connect this uh, grip heater wiring set to battery in order to test these grips and uh, there's another issue also I will tell you later about that one. While off camera I uh, 
took off the terminals from the battery and uh, always you have to remember that uh, remove first uh, negative pole and uh, after that the positive one and when you are installing something to battery then do this opposite way so positive first and negative then Okay, and uh, now when it's connected, I just plug these uh, grips to each uh, in its own connector. Now I have the connection to battery, and uh, then I will check this uh, if it's working. This is first time, by the way, to connect this on. So, it seems to be working. I'll wait for uh, one or two minutes and uh, then I should feel some heat coming through these grips. Yes, this is uh, clearly warming up and uh, this also. So, I believe that uh, these are working just okay. I can adjust uh, the heat, amount of the heat here. It has uh, different uh, colors on the LED. Yeah, and still I feel the heat here. So, why I make this connection right now? Okay, first of all, I wanted to know if these are working properly. And uh, secondly, I wanted to have a heat on for a while because they are expanding just a fraction of a millimeter. And uh, because of that, they are so much easier to push to the handlebar. Okay. Next, I have to take away uh, these original grips and uh, easiest method is uh, to cut or slash with my uh, carpet knife. But uh, I don't want to do that because I want to, uh, I want to spare these uh, grips for future use. So I have a second easiest method with me and uh, it's an uh, undestructive method. So, I will use uh, compressed air. This is my air compressor, uh, pistol grip, and uh, all air comes through this uh, very narrow nozzle here. And I try to put this, this nozzle uh, between the grip and uh, the handlebar itself. And air should uh, extract this uh, grip a little bit and then ease up this uh, when I'm taking this away. So, let's see. Like so. This is uh, a totally intact uh, grip and uh, I can store this and uh, later use to this bike or to other bikes. And then I just try to take uh, the other one here with the same method. Like that.
Okay, my next task is to uh, put this grip on here, this left side grip which has this uh, switch. Uh, one problem here is that uh, the grip is a uh, little bit loose here. Now it's moving like that, so I have to do something with this grip. I am putting one strip uh, painter's tape here. One strip is enough and uh, then it comes really tight. And another issue is that I don't want to have water coming in from this side of this tube because uh, it makes a rust and uh, other harmful things inside the grip. So I will put a uh, 22mm O-ring uh, just between this uh, switch unit and uh, the grip. So now I'm ready to uh, insert this grip here, but uh, this tape is not enough. I need to put some glue here, very thinly here, so that uh, the grip stays there firmly. So I have this kind of uh, Loctite power epoxy. Uh, it is not so fast glue. Uh, there's five minutes or three minutes time, working time. Uh, in the internet you can see many references to the original Gorilla Glue, but uh, I believe that this Loctite is uh, very similar in this case. Now the grip is there and I aligned this uh, uh, flat side uh, against this uh, switch housing here. And now I just have to pop this uh, or put in this end cap here. Easy task, job done for the left side. For the right side, the uh, installation is uh, similar than left side. The only difference is that I don't use any rubber o-ring. Uh, there's already in place this kind of uh, plastic washer, which was uh, in the original installation. So I will make some glue and then I spread it here thinly and uh, then try to push this uh, in.
so it dries totally here. I try to look the best possible uh, position for this uh, wire here. Now it seems to be okay. And uh, then I'm continue with the uh, routing these cables uh, in proper place here and uh, under the tank. 